Hey sports fans, welcome to the Super Bowl edition of Tahoe Sports Line. I've got our two resident experts in the house, Nick Rogers and Mike Perrin. Guys, good to see you. Thanks for having us. Yep. It's a big week. Hey, everyone's asking where Bob and Craig are, but you guys had better records than them for the entire season, so you guys are the new yeah, resident experts. In the top spots, right on. Speaking of resident and experts, how did our Facebook contestants do last week? We had six people go 4-0. We chose at random out of those winners. Mike won a zip lining tour out at Kirkwood Mountain Resort. Gina is eating well at Naked Fish. And all you have to do is go to facebook.com slash Lake Tahoe Television. It's completely free. We're going to have four options this week since it's just the one Super Bowl game, which we'll be going over. But we're going to be throwing prizes at you, all the winners there. Nick, we bet against the odds but you don't have to on our Facebook page. How did we do last week on our picks and what are the picks you have for us this week? We did pretty darn well. We all went three and one on our two games and our two over unders. Uh, this week we got the 49ers and the Ravens in the Super Bowl, driving down New Orleans. Uh, Niners are a three and a half point favorite. I'm going with the Ravens on their hot streak, the emotional streak with Ray Lewis killing it on defense he's he is hyped up did you see him crying on the field last game <laughs> i'm sure you did that's what you're basing it off of is ray lewis and his tears yeah come on the 49ers the, the man have that have the tearing is a scary thing <laughs> that is a scary thing i am a little threatened by him and what he can do to the option but 49ers uh kaepernick davis and crabtree look out i'm going niners all the way probably by seven and a half Whew, Mike, I'm with you on this one. Niners have a better team offense and defense. I think it all depends on the play of the two quarterbacks for either team, however. Joe Flacco gets hot, 6'6", six, six, looking for a big contract. Could be a game changer, but Colin Kaepernick, uh, who would have thought rookie for, uh, the second year player from Nevada would be playing for a Super Bowl. So uh, I'm going to go with the Niners on this one and uh, lay the four, three and a half points. All right, so now we're going to go to the over-under. Uh, it's 48 total points. I'm going with the over. I think it's going to be a very high scoring game. I think Kaepernick will get his runs in. I feel it. And I feel Flacco dropping those bombs to Anquan and Torrey Smith for a lot of yards and adding yards up to points. I didn't see much of that last game. The, the story is Ray Rice and controlling the ball there. Dropping bomb, Kaepernick and Davis. That duo during the championship game. Got me fired up, personally. I'm definitely taking the over here. It's going to be high tempo. Uh, I'm saying right around 50, 53 points. Nick, we made you take the Ravens last week. I'm going to go against both of you. I'll take the uh, non-sexy pick here, and I'll take the under on this one. I think defense is going to prevail. Okay, that, that, that's definitely possible. Our la uh, next up, <clears throat> first to score. So this really depends on coin flip in my mind. But I think the Ravens will get their opportunity first with Flacco going deep early and looking for it often, then to control the clock later in the game. I say Niners score first. They're going to win the coin toss, defer, D up the Ravens, and then at least get a field goal in the first drive. I wouldn't be much of a picker if I picked the Niners to win it and then I didn't pick the Niners to score first. <laughs> Niners all the way on this one. Yeah. All Very right. quick extra credit pick. Who we think is going to get the MVP? It's got to be Kaepernick. The hot story right now. If they, if the Niners win, it's Kaepernick all the way. I'm going with this dark horse and Anquan Bolden. He catches some touchdowns like he did all playoffs long. He's got it. Interesting pick. I'm going to go off the grid. I'm going to take Joe Flacco, and that's going to do it for this week's edition of Tower Sportsline. We'll see you next week.